Hey gang, welcome back. Episode two of this uh, acoustic guitar build project that I'm doing. And uh, in this episode, uh, we will be bending the sides. So if you recall from the first video, uh, I thicknessed the, uh, the back, the sides, and glued up the, the, the back and uh, got my sides at this point down to, um, in, in the first video I did, got them down to a hundred thousandths uh, thickness. And I decided to go a little thinner for the sides uh, than what the plans call for, just because uh, this mahogany uh, mahogany side, I just, uh, I'm, I'm afraid it might split or crack uh, during the bending process. So I went a little thinner. I got it down to roughly 85 thousandths. Uh, that's my heater uh, that you hear. Uh, let me turn that off. All right, that's better with the heater off. Um, so let me explain here the process that I use for bending these sides. So I made this form up uh, just out of MDF. Uh, and this is the exact shape of the guitar body. Um, you know, the upper and lower bouts are identical. And I basically had took my plans and I... Uh, created the form directly off the plans. So there is a, this is an exact uh, negative copy of the sides. And the form is quite simple. This jig is, I've got, <clears throat> you look here, I've got a, a clamping call in the center that is curved and uh, there is a screw, let me just raise this up. This is a screw clamp, and the bottom is contoured to match uh, the radius here of the waist. So as I screw it down, this call lowers down and clamps the side into the waist. Okay, so once that's clamped down, then I have these, these clamping claws here, they're just spring, spring loaded and you bring them down and they help secure the upper and lower bouts. Alright, so it's, it's pretty straightforward, uh, it, wor it worked well. Um, so we use the, this heating blanket, silicone heating blanket, to provide the heat that will bend the wood. Uh, you don't want to just put the heating blanket directly on the wood. You want to you want to create a heat sink for the heating blanket. So um, I've just got this uh, aluminum flashing that I will sandwich in between. I will sandwich the the heating blanket, my side, in between this flashing, and that'll create a nice heat sink, as well as it'll also uh, give some stability to the side as I start clamping it down and it is bending. I've also taken the time to <clears throat> mark uh, the center uh, of, of the side. So I've, I know what it's going to be a tapered side. Uh, this will be four and seven eighths. This will be three and seven eighths. I'll have a taper uh, from one end to the other and I've laid out where I want my center mark to be. And I've also taken the time to transfer that center to uh, the flashing. And I've also, on the form itself, uh, I've marked where the center line is. So when I put this uh, in the form, I'm going to line up, make sure my center lines match up and that way my bend will be exactly uh, where I want it. All the bends will be roughly in the right spot. All right, uh, but it's not just the heat that is gonna make this bend happen without splitting the wood, is we need to uh, coat this with, uh, spray it down with some water and then wrap it in some tin foil, help keep the steam in and that will release 
the fibers, that, that water will steam up, release the fibers, and allow it to really get flexible. With this controller for the heating blanket, uh, you could set the temperature uh, exact. And I'm gonna set it to 320. And this little temperature probe, I will put in my sandwich and it'll help me monitor the temperature. I'm gonna set it to 320. Once it's at 320, I'll start bending. <clears throat> and after I have everything bent, I'll reduce the heat down to about 220. Let it sit there for uh, 20 minutes, half hour, and then turn the heat off and just let it sit in the clamped in the form all, uh, till tomorrow. And then I'll I'll take it out and hopefully it stays and and it and it hasn't split or cracked. And we'll do the other side. So all right, let's get started. It's uh, imperative that you position uh, the side correctly when you put it in uh, the waist. The upper and lower belt, you want to make sure you're bending your side uh, correctly because this is book matched uh, to the other side. I want to make sure I have the book match lined up properly. So in this case, uh, I have that I have my lines marked out and I know exactly where I'm going to put it in. It's not backwards this way uh, or flipped over like that. So all right, so let me spray it down pretty good. Both sides. We got the bottom part of my sandwich. Eating blanket. And the top part of my sandwich. So take that sandwich, place it in the form. I uh, just got some spring clamps just to hold this together here. It's important that the your heat sink, in this case the flashing, stays in contact with the heating pad. My center line on my flashing is lined up with my center line on my form. So I'm going to set 320 Fahrenheit. Once it gets up to temperature, then I'll start uh, clamping down here with the call. One thing you want to do too is put gloves on because this gets hot. Set the temperature to 320, I've turned it on, and it's climbing quick. All right, it's at 150 and I can hear, I can hear it steam. I don't know if you can see that too in, in the video, but it is really starting to steam. We are at 195. 225, I'm cranking it a bit here. All is centered. You want your piece centered as well. You don't want it to be bent on a crooked because <laughs> you don't have it lined up well. So we are at 265 roughly. I'm slowly cranking this down here. You can see the steam coming out. 300. hold in here. Alright, so now this upper call connect this in. Put it in the 
back one here. This one is always the one that makes me nervous. This is a pretty tight bend. Go slowly. Work this down. I'm listening to the wood. Holes are melting. Let's get those guys off. All right, check the middle here. Again, we are going to slowly bring her down. the middle down a little more. Make sure we are good and seated. Now I'm going to set this temperature here to 225. All right, so I set it to 225. I'll check my clamping pressure. You can see it's coming down. It's hot. Once it comes down to temperature, we'll let that sit for 20 minutes. And then we'll turn the heat off altogether and it'll let it rest overnight. Alright, it's the next day and we'll take it out of the mold and see what kind of spring back we get. Billy's going to get a little spring back, but uh, it should roughly keep it safe. And I found if, if you don't, if, if, if it springs back too much and you're not happy with it, you can spritz it just very lightly with some water, put it back uh, in, the, in the form, reheat it for another 20 minutes, and then let it cool down, and then you'll get the shape. Uh, most likely that you want. I apologize for the heater this morning. It's very cold, and uh, I need it on in the shop. See all the resin on the tin foil. All right. All right. So what I'll do now is uh, I have my mold that uh, I put this into where I glue on my my heel blocks and you know do most of the assembly we'll put it in there now and we'll clamp it in there and see how it fits all right so get a couple clamps but i'll have to trim Trim it off the sides here, and the same thing at the bottom, trim it here. 
Yeah, that's going to work well. So, all right, so that fits in there pretty well. Let me give you a bit of a little better point of view here. So, like I said, I'll trim these eventually. Once I get um, the other one bent up, I'll, I'll trim this to length, and we'll glue in the blocks. So, but let's go ahead and uh, let's bend up the last one. any of that steam I know with the heater you can't hear it but it is getting hot and I can hear it sizzling this things melt That's it for about 20 minutes, then bring it down to 220 and then turn it off. Same process as before. All right, it's been about two hours, and you can see it's still you know 95 degrees. It's dropping pretty quick, but it, it's still pretty warm to the touch. Uh, so this needs to sit overnight, and then uh, once it's down to room temperature, I will take it out of the mold here and Bring it over to the form and once i have it in the form we will trim it to size the top and the bottom of the side we'll trim it down the size and we will work on gluing the heel and neck block so that'll be episode three uh all right I you guys watching this episode and as always please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you all next time.